Craft Sanity, Craft Sanity. Hi, I'm Jennifer from Craft Sanity, and we're back here again in Larissa's studio, and this is the Be Cozy headquarters. And this time we're going to take merino wool, and we're going to do some crocheting. And this is crocheting without a giant hook, just our hands. Just our hands. So show us how it, show us how it's done. So first of all, we're making uh, again a loop. And this time we're close to the edge, like you're going, yeah, going you about like go six to eight inches edge. from the yeah. edge, and just uh, making the loop, and just pulling it through, and here's the loop. Here's the first stitch. And I usually make it a little bit smaller. And then we're making another stitch going inside. Now are we just doing a chain now? Chain, yep. And how many One, are we chaining? We're making three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Then this one goes on your hand, and we are going in this one. In the second one, or the second one from the second one, second one the from the okay, yeah. So we're going inside, taking one out, and then it's a, a single crochet, single crochet, mm -hmm. and then we're going to the same uh, hole six times, the same one that we were just in. Yes. So this is one, then single crochet, two. <laughs> With a broken finger, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> It's yeah. stuck on my finger. Three and four. It's so ridiculous to be doing instructional videos with a broken finger. <laughs> yeah, it will kill. It's silly, but you know, I didn't want to wait. I was too excited to get over here. I didn't want to yeah. wait. So. Thank you. It was really nice. <laughs> six. So we have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you had that one on the end though. What happened to that one? Is that just behind? Uh, it just stayed there. Okay. Because it's okay. so small when you're just starting with it and I'm not really okay. using it. So, so you we just, have you just six. Kinda... And usually when I'm uh, doing it in circle, I'm trying to hand something on the last one. So I, let me grab. <laughs> oh, okay. So what I'm doing, I'm hanging this on the last stitch. Oh, so you're, you have a stitch marker. Yeah. It's a kind of little binder <laughs> clip. <laughs> yeah. And then the next row, uh, we will do double at the uh, every stitch, and we will be using the back of the Just stitch. Just the back of the stitch. Yeah. So we're going inside. Okay, so it's funny how... Okay, so you've made a... Uh, a I'm not going to mark mine. I'll just continue yeah, okay. and go. I, I can give you another one. So we're going at the same uh, twice. You're doing single we'll, crochet still. Yeah, but we are going to the same hole twice. This way we will Every have time. Uh, double uh, the number now of Now are you stitches. reaching, th are you going through that, just this part? We're going inside this just in and here. we're using on the, the okay. back. So it's single, but we're doing two singles at the same hole. And we're going this way, all the way. And we, will, we had six and now we will have twelve. Yeah, and this is, I can knit faster. I'm learning that I can, I can knit faster with a broken finger than I can crochet. <laughs> um, and I think the difference is I did most of my knitting either on the table or with the giant mm -hmm. knitting needles. So, but this is, for those who know how to crochet, uh, super easy. Yeah, it's very easy and I actually didn't know how to crochet much. Oh, you did? Okay, so yeah, this is kind I was of a just, thing for you. I was just looking on YouTube and regular crocheting, mm -hmm. and then I was just doing it with my hands, so that's how I did it. I actually think this would be a great way to teach children knitting and crocheting, because they can see the stitches, and it, it just makes it easier. It's just bigger and easier to see. Okay, so I see how this is starting to grow here. Yeah, so we have this beautiful... And that's really nice. Yours is nice and tight. Uh, and we can actually uh, use both the backs. sides. Yeah. Some people like uh, the back. So it's just kind of how you... And you just tuck that end in, which is really cool. Yeah. That you looks can so just, pretty, too. Yeah. And so, yeah, so you can decide if you like this side. You can decide side. which one uh, you like better. It does take on a flower-like look mm -hmm. to it. Which yeah. is really lovely. And so when you keep going with that, you end up with... We have one that you we did. Have, yeah. This yeah. was... And when you keep going and you just and add you just this... just keep going... Uh, so soft. It'd be a great rug. Of course, I would tell people, like, you cannot... Don't you dare go on this with your shoes. <laughs> 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 because 
because it's so soft. But I can imagine getting out of bed in the morning and having a, a wonderful yeah. rug. Yeah, uh, it yeah it's so pretty. And then so you can make rugs if you keep making this bigger. And mm -hmm. you would just go, do you add two stitches? And no, every... it's actually uh, first uh, row, it's double. double. Then next row, it will be uh, two doubles. The one double, one single, one single. Okay. One double, one single, one single. Okay, and then so this way you make it round and it will not go like right. That. And it, when it does go like that, if you want to grab the the cat oh, bed, yeah. when if you a, do, then it uh, becomes. <laughs> if you bed. don't add stitches and you continue around mm -hmm. for a row, you then end up with a place that a cat would like to sit. Yeah. And. Or uh, actually what I'm doing, I'm making the size of the uh, bed that I want for a cat or a dog. And, and then you go up the side. And then I'm uh, going not in the back stitch, Both. but I'm going inside the stitch itself. And that gives you more and structure. It goes, it, it goes up then. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it, these are lovely and it's just so great to see what you can do with your hands. Yeah. Uh, and you really, yeah. this is definitely a way to be really connected with the things you're making yeah. because you're using your hands. Absolutely. So thank you so much for showing thank us you. your techniques. Yeah.